then next question is to find out even and odd parts of the signal in dt form okay so this is the question x of n is equal to 2 e power j pi by 3 n so this is the discrete time information okay so we have to calculate for dt signal in even and odd parts then first how to write the exponential term in terms of cos and sin we know that clearly e power j data is equal to cos data plus j sin data okay so here instead of data what is the value pi by 3 n so how you write this x of n is equal to 2 cos of pi by 3 n plus j sin of pi by 3 n so then we have to write 2 is multiplied with the cos and sin terms so 2 cos pi by 3 n plus 2 j sin pi by 3 n so this is the x of n value clear then next we have to calculate this value for x of minus n so we know that x of minus n be the reversed time axis of the signal x of n so how do you write this e power minus j pi by 3 n okay just you have to put a negative sign in the power of exponential so here the power of exponential is positive here the power of exponential is negative so you have to change the time axis for the given signal x of n just you have to change the frequency value in the power of exponential because the time as well as frequency is relevant then so how to write this x of minus n value by using cos and sin terms so the same procedure we have to follow this so 2 cos of pi by 3 n so the instead of plus j we have to use minus j so minus j sin pi by 3 n ok so because x e power minus j data is equal to cos data minus j sin data. Okay. So, this is the formula. So, only one difference. Suppose if the power of the exponentially positive means you have to write plus sign in between cos and sin terms. Suppose if the power of the exponential is negative means you have to write negative sign in between cos and sin terms clear ok the next we know that the formula for calculating even parts of the signal so x e of n is equal to x of n plus x of minus n divided by 2 so this is the formula similarly odd part of the signal is also calculated by using this formula x odd of n is equal to x of n minus x of minus n divided by 2 ok so this is the formula then first find out x e of n value so e1 part x e of n is equal to 1 by 2 is taken commonly the next x of n value what is x of n 
this term. So just to copy this equation. So 2 cos pi by 3 n plus 2 j sin pi by 3 n. Okay. The next what is x of minus n value? So this is the value. Then plus 2 cos pi by 3 n minus j 2 sin pi by 3 n. Okay. Then this 1 by 2 is common for both the signal x of n and x of minus n. Two j sine pi by three n here minus two j sine pi by three n. So this term will be cancelled. So the remaining term is two cos pi by three n here two cos pi by three n. So four cos pi by three n divided by two. The final result is two cos pi by three n. Here also cancel. Okay. So this is the result of even points a x e of n. Then similarly calculating this value for odd points. Odd points. So x o of n is equal to 1 by 2. So what is the formula? x of n minus x of minus n divided by 2. So x of n value is 2 cos pi by 3 n plus 2 j sin pi by 3 n then minus here 2 cos pi by 3 n minus 2 j sin pi by 3 n ok here 2 cos pi by 3 n minus 2 cos pi by 3 n is cancelled. So, what is the remaining terms? So, 1 by 2 2 j sin pi by 3 n minus into minus plus. So, 2 j sin pi by 3 n. So, the result is 4 j sin pi by 3 n. Okay. So, it is again simplified by 2 to cancel. So, 2j sin pi by 3n is the answer. So, we know that clearly even part of the signal is x e of n, odd part of the signal is x o of n. So, this is the answers. Thank you.